Hello and welcome to the demonstration of AppSea Connect. In today's demonstration, I'll be showcasing you that how you can connect or integrate all the information maintained in a flat file and generate the reports or perform the data synchronization in between the FTP and ACP Business One ERP platform. So for that, we are going to use our AppSea Connect agent. This agent will get downloaded from the cloud platform and will get installed in the ACP server. It is a very small and lightweight application. Here you need to put the credentials as exactly you provided in the cloud configuration setup of AppSea Connect and fetch the information in the time of login into this agent application. And you know like AppSea Connect has two components. One is the cloud platform which generally stores the business settings or business restoration platform. And another is the AppSea Connect agent which performs the data synchronization portion. And that is why it is very safe and secure as it does not store your business related credentials. Also, AppSea Connect has got some amazing triggers. You know, like one of the major important feature of our connector is that we have both the options. Either we can manually sync information from one to another platform or we can simply swap the button and set the entire configuration in automatic trigger mode. So once it set up into the auto mode, all the information will, will automatically get exchanged in between your two platforms. So now in this demonstration purpose, we are going to use manual trigger to complete this demonstration within a predefined time period. And let's start with the customer synchronization process. So in customer synchronization process, what I'm going to do is that I have a flat file and there I need to modify or update some customer information and will get sync all the informations maintained in a flat file into the ACP Business One under Business Partner Master Data Document. So for that, I'm going to use the FileZilla. So let me provide the FileZilla credentials. I'll put the host name as templatebar.com. Now let me provide the user ID and password and then I'll click on Quick Connect. So once I'm done with connecting the FileZilla, then as you can see, I have a customer folder listed right over here. So once I click on this option, I have a web customer. So this is the way through which I can transfer all the customer information and update or modify in the customer information maintained in a flat file and will get synced the customer from FTP to ACP Business One. So if I click on this option web customer, then I have a file which is in XML format called customer.xml file. So I'll quickly transfer the files into the desktop so that I can be able to manage or modify the customer information into the file. So as you can see, the message is showing as all files have been successfully transferred. So let's open the customer with notepad. Now, if you can see that the customer number, which is the customer code, will be showcasing in the business partner under ACP. So let's provide the customer code or the account number. So let's say I'm providing is as 53. Now the account name means the customer name. Let's say I'll provide it as 53 and the VAT number means the federal tax ID. So let's say I'll make it 53. Now the account number or the customer code, the account name or the customer name and the VAT number or the federal tax ID, these are mapped with the 
exact fields of ACP Business One under Business Partner Master Data Document. Now I'll quickly save the file and we'll again moving into the FileZilla to download the updated information so that I can use my connector AppC Connect and will sync all the informations into the ACP Business One. So let's find the customer.xml file. Yes, here it is. So now I'll transfer the files. So as you can see, all the transfers have been finished. Now let's head off into the ACP Business One where this agent is installed. So I'll manually click on this trigger business partner add from FTP to ACP Business One so that all the modifications, all the updation which I have provided in the flat file of customers to get synced into the business partner master data document. So let's open the master data. Let's provide the code, the updated code in the customer flat file. Now find it. So as you can see, this is the customer code 53 and this is the name of the customer and the federal tax ID or the VAT number which have been mapped with the VAT number maintained in a file in notepad of this particular customer. So all the mappings can be done as per your choice as according to the need. So as you can see that all the informations are correctly synced into the business partner master data document. So the reports can be generated through FTP into the business partner master data. Now let's go ahead with the next process which is product upload. So for that inventory I'll open the item master data document. I'll quickly create or add a new product. Let's provide the item code let's say as item 1098 let's provide the description or the item name let's say it's micromax 4g now unit price as well let's say it's 340 dollar and under remarks tab i'll provide the quick description for this microsoft 4g product let's say it is a smartphone so i'll provide the description as smartphone now there is an important or mandatory field which needs to be checked with item flag so let it provided be true means once you set the web item flag in t option or t mode that means the product will get present or visible into your ftp section or into your file section so now let's add the product once you add the product, you will go in into the agent and manually trigger the product add in FTP so that all the informations which is mentioned into the product section like the product name, the product description and the product code will get reflected into your report generated section. So now let's open the FileZilla again. And if I click on this option and to refresh the page, you can see that this new product stocks XML file is getting stored or listed right over here. So let's transfer the files so that you can see all the product updated into your product section of AC. So here in the desktop, you can find new products. So let's open with the notepad. Now, as you can see that the item code which I have provided in the ACP as item 1098 is exactly synced. This is the item name Micromax 4G and this is the user text means the remarks tab. In the remarks tab I have provided the short description for this product as smartphone. So for this demonstration purpose we have mapped the item code, item name and the remarks tab with the description field. Another mappings if required then can also be done or happened in between the two platforms. So 
in this way you can maintain a file you can provide the information in this file like regarding customers you can mention the customer name customer federal tax id customer information and you can download all the customer related information from your ftp into the acp business one under business partner master data document and also in this way you can maintain all your products and upload the product from acp to ftp so thank you for this demonstration if you have any queries then do contact with us